Welcome again to the EV Charging Summit. We're here with another company with some very cool looking chargers. I'm not even gonna say, like, uh, introduce yourself and the company. Uh, Michael Eskigen, we're with uh, Echo Energetica. Okay, we're a Polish-based organization, manufactured in Poland, European presence, and we're entering this US market this year in, in full force. That's so cool. We're ready to go. I, yeah, we're ready to go. We're ready to check out these chargers. <laughs> we're ready to charge and we're ready to charge quickly. You know, <laughs> All I want to do is be able to charge, but I got to say, these chargers yeah. look cool. So let's let's start and do a booth tour. You can show us everything we'll do that. about these. No problem. So really nice. What we've got here, what you're seeing right here is configurations of our satellite units that go with our cabinet. So similar to a lot of the ones that you see out there in the public charging world, right? You've got the cabinet that's out on the side. 360 kilowatts we can do up to 720 kilowatts. And then you got multiple configurations. So. What you see here is kind of a bare bones, really nice, clean, single single pipe on the one side. You know, no payment terminal, no screen, but it's great for users, great for fleet, great for situations like that, cost effective. When we're looking over here, this is where you get a little bit more into the world with the consumer charge. Right. Right. Really, you want to make an impact. So what we can do here, what's really nice is you, it's very configurable. You can have the dual port system. You can have a one port. You have your NACS, your NACS, and you've got your CCS. You can do two NACS, two CCS. We can reverse them too, so that this charger can actually bend that way. So you get oh, one nice. that bends reverse, one that bends, you know, great for the pull through type of environment and that kind of and stuff. And I would assume like if somebody is like, I want one of each, maybe down the road, they're like, can we swap that it one? It could be converted, things like that yeah. can happen, no problem, right? And then on this one, you can see it with a payment terminal. We have several different payment terminals you can use. We've got the advertising screen, which is an option as well. So really all your user functions are gonna be right here, nice and easy, nice and displayed. But then you got that option for that extra revenue, consumers, hey, pop up what you need to do, yeah. right? You're out of the race. But when you're, when you're charging as well, you'll see your state of charge kind of going up as well. So you oh, come indeed. in with 20% and it'll go up as you charge. So like very this, interactive. So you can sort of see it even from a distance. So you don't have to like right. run over here to the screen. You can you sort kind of know where you're charging okay. at, right? Uh, we standardize with 400 amp cables, boost it up to 500. That's a standard on our equipment. So that's really nice as well. And all of these screens that you see here on that pasture, like I was talking, you can go to the other side. You can put those screens on the back side of the equipment oh, as well. So yeah, when you're going like a, call it like a gas station where you can split both ways and have users use right. on both sides. Depending on your, your site design. Correct, depending on your site design. You get rest stops, right, with trailers. You know, right. Chevy Silverado with the trailer pulling on one side, yeah. 150 on the other side, and guess what? Now it's no problem and they got user access both Perfect. ways. Yeah. You know, when we move from that, and our 360 tower will go up with six ports. So depending on how you want to structure it single units, dual units, but then we also go up to this guy. This is a bigger one, okay? Yeah, I, that's, I was this, gravitating down This here. is a bigger one, yeah. and then we, this is actually, we, we produce this too with uh, Ionity in, in Europe. So, you know, big okay. reputation base, you know, this is, this is what we work with them. You do have an option for an advertising screen on this one as well, your payment terminal and your charger. The big thing about this one, it's 500 amp liquid cooled cables, right? So then right. you're boosting up to 600. So. Really, you're future-proofing your site. You're yeah. getting into that bigger, badder kind of charge, nice, fast. And does this one also have a distribution block or is this standalone? This is distribution. So this is going with these guys. So you okay. could have one of these and then two of these. It's all working with that cabinet style split design, right? Perfect, so yeah. really nice and clean. So it really comes down to your site, how you're gonna be setting it up. That's how we're gonna be working. So this is your really high fast charging, say 400 volt vehicle architecture, you need to pump that extra amperage in to make sure you're getting the most out of it, you're gonna work with one of these. But at the end of the day, when you're getting 500 amp peak with a naturally cool cable on these guys too, cost effective, really nice for your environments, so. So now you mentioned it's a Polish company. We, you guys are entering the US market, so correct. we're gonna start seeing these you, relatively soon? You will start seeing them soon. And we'll actually, we can walk all the way around yeah. and I'll show you our all-in-one system, right? And that's kind of the standard in the industry for a lot of places it's, too. It has been, Your yeah. 180 kilowatt. So our 180 kilowatt, just right over here. And what you're seeing from our 180 kilowatt is a lot of that same feature design that you're seeing in our satellites. Now this one's gonna be available right away. We're gonna be starting to deliver these in basically around August. We're bringing them right. in, we're ready to go. Those ones will be in early next year on the split system. But again, when you're looking at these guys, 400 amp cables as standard, boosted to 500. 180 kilowatt split, 90, 90 as you're charging. We could go down to 120 depending on your application. But right. again, 
optional screen for your advertising. This one's nice big screen, 24 inches, right? And then you've got your payment terminal set up as well. You know, clean design, you see your state of charge going up as you're charging, different indicator that you're, you are charging, one's open, one's not. So, you know, there's a lot of engineering that's been put in and reliability on our factor. It's two college guys out of, uh, from 2009 that founded the company cool. and they've developed from there. Our base came actually out of the uh, transportation market, Paris, Berlin, really the high caliber charging with the municipalities and buses, right? So that's where we started and then we got really good, very reliable, and we brought that over really to more of the consumer side of the market with partners like Ionity and Orlean and PowerDot for the gas station industry and that kind of stuff. Yeah. And, and again, so it's a European company that's coming here yeah. to the U.S. Like, what advantages do you see bringing what's known in Europe coming over here? I know, you know, connectors are different, sure. obviously, but... It's, it's the established market. It's the established business. It's the reliability. I think one of the big things that the Europeans did well is solve any serviceable issues, right? We've worked those things out. We're stable. We know what's going on. Yeah. And now we can bring that knowledge over here, right? It's not a... It's not a pure launch with a new product. These, these products have been running. They're stable, reliable. We've got a lot of engineering, got a lot of background. Um, we're very vertically integrated as well. So oh, we great. do a lot of things in-house in Poland. Our team's over a thousand people now. It's, it's a very structured organization. We do really well that way. So, you know, we, we are on top of any issues that you could see in the field. And that really comes back to working with the major transit industries in Europe. When, yeah. you're, when you're working with Paris Transit, you, you can't let the buses go down, right? So <laughs> yeah. I think we've taken a lot of those early stages that we would have seen over there. Right. We've, everything, that's, those kinks have been worked out and we've really brought that now to this market. So we, we're very confident what we're bringing here. You know, we're establishing a presence. We're, we're hiring individuals. We are, uh, we're going to have a head office lab testing, whole knock center and everything in Irvine, California as well. Oh, great. So, you know, we are building a presence here within the, within the U.S. and Canadian markets. And I, I think that's like one of the really cool things that we've seen overall here at EV Charging Summit is a lot of these companies are on second, third, fourth yeah. generations now. So Absolutely. it sounds like that's exactly the case. Here. We're, this we're is, developed. Yeah, yeah this, this is, this is not up, new. But it's not, yeah. <laughs> exactly. And even on the sides that you see over there, like they're going to be new to us coming in, you know, January, February next year to be able to deliver, right? We're going through the UL certifications and those are all standard, but those have been running. You know, we right. have many sites running with that equipment. You know, that's going to be the base for our megawatt charging that's going to be coming closer to 2027. But we're already going to be doing the megawatt charging in Europe before we bring it here. So, you know, we really work out those things. And now we know we have a proven product when we're going to go reliable, speed, everything here for this, this market. Now we talked about a couple of the different payment systems. Yeah. You have your touch card, your credit card. Absolutely. Um, the one that a lot of people are talking about is being big for 2025 is plug in charge. And I'm assuming- yep. guys we, we have a lot of, hey, a lot of that comes down to the OEMs, right? Yeah. And the vehicles and, and we're on top of that. Not only are we plug in charge, OCPP 1.6, you know, we are already ready for the 2.01. We're already set on those things. So working agnostically with a lot of the other providers around here. Um, and the OCPP front ends, so what you people have on their apps and what right. they see every day, we're, we're capable and ready for all those partners on this side as well. Well, that's exciting. I'm always for more better charging, and I think that's the key. I, like, that's the key, right? Got to have a better experience. Um, where can people find out more information and, and announcements of when you guys... Really, we do a great job on, on our echoenergetica.com website, okay. but, but beyond that, we have a great YouTube channel as well. You awesome. get to really see some of our history, some of the projects that we've done, the big ones through Europe, some of our big partners. Um, so, you know, connect us in that way, take a look. You'll see all our, how our chargers look, what's coming to market. You'll see a lot of that aspect right there too. So, especially in the market and where you guys are, I think that's, you know, the perfect transition yeah. over. Keep looking, keep searching. You can put one on my, on my street, they'll be happy, right? <laughs> hey, yeah. I'm sure there's a lot of partners around here that, that we're talking yeah. to that it's, it's very possible. So yeah. yeah, no, no, we are, we are looking to grow and we're looking to grow sustainably. You know, we, we like to be in the market quickly, but we know, you need to do it the right way. So we want to make sure yeah. what we're putting in the ground 
is going to work and work really well. well. And you said one thing, and we'll, we'll, maybe we'll finish up with this, but yeah. it's like the, you know, it's one thing to just to make a charger, but to realize that at some point, whether it's six months or two years down the road, Absolutely. somebody's going to have to maintain it. Correct. And you, you, it sounds like you guys have thought about that process. There before. is, there is. There's a lot of back end work that we've put into it. A lot on the software side too, which is a lot of it, yeah. right? We had the visualization in Europe. We have a team really specifically dedicated our own software engineers in Poland into, and as I said, vertically integrated. So we have it all together. We work really tightly that way. So we know any type of failure rates and things like yeah. that early. We, we track a lot of our product. We know what and when should go wrong. So let's put it this way. We're, we're staying on top of it. That, that's all we can ask for. Pretty so. much. Well, we're really excited. Um, we're Amazing. closing out the... Closing out the show. <laughs> charging summit. Were, I think, you know, everybody's tearing down around us, but... Uh, it was great. It was busy. Um, exciting show. Yeah, very much. Absolutely. End of the show, beginning of a great new entry into the market. So great journey this way. Awesome. Well, thank you so much for your time. Appreciate it. Thank you.